Welcome to another video. Um, as you might remember, we uh, are drawing so-called perissodactyls or old toad ungulates. And actually, we will be drawing the very last one of these. It's not a very large uh, order of animals. And um, the one we'll be drawing today is a mountain tapir. So here we go. As you can see, I've already drawn the so-called proboscis or the trunk. These guys having a short trunk and giving them a rather distinctive face. Now let's not forget there's a nostril right there. Now let's draw the eyes. Pretty small ones. Well, I like that. Are those eyes looking cute? I think they are. Now, let's give this guy a bit of, or girl, you never know, a bit of a um, surprised look. So, now, mountain ta tapirs have got, usually got, whitish lips. So, let's do that right now, giving them a rather distinctive look. Living in mountains, rather cold environment environments of course tape mountain tapirs have rather long fur compared to other tapirs so let's make sure we give it a bit of a woolly or at least hairier coat than usual now the ears are also rather prominent so here we go and usually they also have a whitish margin so showing that right here let's draw the other ear alert to whatever might be coming from uh, the other side of the page now you might know that some tapir species have manes as far as i can tell the mountain tapir does not so let's not give it one that's the shoulder and the back is rather prominent now but it goes behind the kiang. So we're not seeing much of that here. The body is uh, stout. And then we get to the legs, which are still quite longish. We are, after all, talking about a so-called ungulate, an animal with hooves. And tapirs can actually move quite fast. So. The legs are longer than you might think. Here are the hooves. Three toes per foot. On in the front at least. Another foot here. Don't forget that you also need to draw joints. They may not be ter terribly visible, but they are there. So give a bit of accent to them accentuation now, let's do this to make the long coat a bit more prominent just give it some hairs this may actually be more prominent than in the actual animal but let's not worry about that too much now as you might have noticed i've got a bit of a problem here in that I've actually drawn this tape a bit too tall compared to the keying and compared to the position of its legs. So I'm going to have to be now I'm going to have to do something here. So let's draw the leg here right behind the one of its very distant relative. Let's not forget the hairs. Now, mm, let's play a bit with perspective here. So this guy is standing a bit. Well, is standing a bit to the right or left? Right, I think. Hmm, I've cheated a bit, but the main thing is that we've got ourselves a respectable tape here. So here we go, a mountain tape here. Hope you enjoyed. 